Gaming is dying, guys. Gaming is dying. What's up? Esther Flap back with another video. Here to talk about the state of gaming that we are at today. And boy, oh boy, do I have a lot of things to say. First things first, getting right into it. We're going to talk about this NFT stuff. Completely useless. Completely useless. I don't even understand how anybody can think that that's a good idea. Basically, if you guys don't know, NFTs stand for non-fungible tokens. And what this means is, instead of your bank, <clears throat> instead of your bank monitoring the transactions on your account, um, a whole bunch of computers do that. So everything's out in the open, everybody can see it and say, hey, you own this item, you bought this item. That's the difference. So unlike a bank where if you buy something, it says, hey, you bought five slices of pizza uh, for five bucks, take that. It, it will just say, hey, you gave five bucks to this person. That's it. That's it. So you can use that to buy anything you want. That's the main difference. And <clears throat> that it, it shows that you own that. So basically what gaming is trying to do is add this into games where you can earn, earn, air quotes, earn, uh, items in your games uh, to be able to sell and basically this is a crock of all it is is trying to sell the idea that hey you can earn money in these games when realistically you're not going to so let's put it in this perspective there's 10 items hey and, and this DLC that we're releasing we're going to have 10 secret items that have NFTs in it and you could be the one that earns it now think about that people aren't going to be buying the dlc for the game for for the extra content whatever it is they're going to be buying it for the nfts and what's going to end up happening is games are going to start having this market not even just with nft markets they'll start having literal player markets in the game controlling the economy of the game who wants that who wants that nobody nobody has asked for this period nobody has asked for this period think about it if if there's only 10 in existence everybody's going to buy that dlc that thinks that they can earn money everybody's going to be wasting their time because they think they can earn the money let's say there's 20 well the cost of the first 10 is going to be more expensive let's say there's 30 the cost of the first 20 is going to be more expensive if there's 100 the cost of the first 50 the lower the number is the cost is going to go up because of the amount of money that you could make off these nfts absolutely ridiculous nobody has asked but and and you gotta ask yourself how have we strayed so far from what gaming has how, what gaming was before when we played games we used to buy the game if it was bad okay fine we don't support that company anymore but if it was a good game guess what we got more good games if it was a good game guess what we got more content in the next game if it was a good game guess what we supported that company we supported that company now it doesn't matter if the game's good or not we can finish it later it doesn't matter if the game has whatever you need they're going to add it later oh what's that you want them to add for free no we're gonna add it as dlc you're gonna have to pay us to finish the game that should have been done off rip think about that demon slayer the game i enjoyed or tried to enjoy literally released with the worst netcode and doesn't even have skeletons in their models as per this post for this mod the new shinobu mod they said it's difficult for them to mod these characters because the characters have no skeletons it's literally just an outer body so everything that's animated they literally animated it frame by frame it isn't it isn't because of some physics It's literally frame by frame that's how it, that's how it's being animated think about that there is no skeleton inside the characters like that's that's where we're at right now that's where we're at like that game was rushed that game was rushed out the door and it, and it should have been done this year instead of last year the fact that online is as laggy and as broken when we have games from the past with full features from that same company are lacking it like that's crazy 
that's absolutely crazy and it shows the state gaming's in battlefield 2042 i know a lot of y'all are <laughs> yeah put the put the fit force down put the pitch force down I'm, I'm not here to support battlefield but look at what that game is basic features basic things that should be in the game basic like even the shooting basic shooting is messed up in battlefield shooting you know the main thing you're doing in the game shooting people the main thing you're doing they messed up on it they didn't care they did not care and, and, and this is this is the state that gaming is becoming battlefield 2042 demon slayer nfts coming in like these big companies talking about how nft is going to change gaming it's not going to change gaming what it's going to do is make gaming a job that's all it's going to do because think about this people buy games for nfts more what's going to end up happening oh we're going to build the game around nfts and no matter what they're still going to make the money that they put into those games because clearly the cost for making these games is going down the money that they make they're going to be getting tenfold back tenfold while you're making pennies in comparison pennies pennies in comparison they they just uh, they think you're stupid these companies think you're stupid and, and it, it it's not even about gaming anymore it's just how can we earn the most amount of money these aren't passion projects anymore it's how can we rip these people off this isn't gaming these are not real games these games that come out and they they say oh we'll fix it later with dlc these games that come out and have lacking features these games that should have spent more time in the oven and that clearly should have spent more time in the oven still comes out as a f you they spit in your face constantly and still ask to give you money to give them money they spit in your face constantly the main reason I wanted to show, make this video was to show the where gaming's at. I remember, I remember buying Dragon Ball Budokai 3. Dragon Ball Budokai 3. It having all the characters I wanted. It having all the content I wanted. It having all the combat I wanted. It being improved upon from Budokai 1, Budokai 2. Even Tenkaichi 3 having upgraded features, having upgraded combat, feeling more fluid than Dragon Ball Tenkaichi 2, feeling more fluid than the first two games. Now we're getting into this, into this age where if games come out, you can expect it to either be worse, the same, or just straight up garbage. Straight up garbage. Indie companies are the games that are, that are making it and people are, people are pirating these games. I, I'm I'm genuinely shocked Hades got as much reception as it did. I am genuinely shocked because most decent indie games that I have played, they never get any traction. Because you know why? They can't market these games the way these big companies can. These big companies have the money, the resources, and the the smarts to to market their stuff to people that even that wouldn't be interested that pe the people that would be interested the people that wouldn't care or do care they they get everybody these indie companies only target games only target certain criterias only target certain audiences and yes it is is it good that th those indie companies get that certain that target audience they want yes but what what we're seeing is that these indie companies are not receiving the praise that they should the the most recent indie games that i have noticed out, out of like the last two three years i would say and like that comes up in recent memory celeste and hades and the binding of isaac and enter the gungeon and i feel like those i feel like the binding of isaac and and enter the gungeon fail because of their lack of online now, because nowadays people don't want to play games alone they want to play games with their friends but that that's a different discussion this needs to stop this needs to stop all these games that are coming out purely to just spit in your face to pry and take your money to get you to open your wallet and give them more money for things that should have been in the game oh we're we're adding new features we're adding 
different things. These are features that should have been there from the beginning. DLC coming out weeks, weeks, literal weeks after the game comes out. Features coming out literal weeks after the games come out. And people are sitting here accepting it. Guys, we, we really, we're, we're approaching a dark age. I, I cannot, I can't even provide you a reason or a solution to stop this from happening other than just don't buy these games. But the, the issue with that is unless you have these old systems or you have a old or you have a PC that's able to run old games, it's nearly impossible to sit and compare old content to the recent content. It, it's becoming more and more impossible for that to happen. J uh, just look at the Sonic games, Sonic Generations, Sonic Unleashed, Sonic Colors, the only game that in recent memory that that is decent <laughs> that they remastered and they even messed up on that remaster now granted i'm not gonna say it was sega's fault but it also kind of was but that's a different discussion but l the sonic games those three and even sonic adventure 2 sonic adventure sonic heroes all those sonic games that that are solid sonic games they're refusing to just remaster it they're refusing to remaster these these Sonic games. You want to know why? Because when you compare it to the most recent Sonic games, it just it fails. The recent Sonic games fail, and it puts accountability on these companies, saying, "Wow, people are buying these games more often than our recent games. We need to put more work in, rather than trying to take more money from people, take items from people, just con people into basically buying our game." is absolutely atrocious sonic is one of the best examples i can give but if we want to go back let, let's look at um street fighter 4 yes while it did have a collection almost egregious amount of additions at the end of it you were able to buy one game all characters unlocked able to play online online worked decently well got everything you wanted now Street Fighter 5. <laughs> you buy Street Fighter 5 base? Oh, yeah, you're screwing yourself for one. Because you're only getting like six characters. Out of like, what, 20 something? Six characters. You buy that game base. Top of that, they say you can earn points. Not true. You can earn those points, but these characters cost 100k. So, unless you're playing this game religiously, there's no way for you to realistically unlock these characters that you should have. You should have the game. The game starts with like six to eight characters. It is it, it, absolutely insane. It's absolutely insane. And then they're they're like, oh well, if you don't want to try and earn these characters, guess what? Five bucks. Not five. Six bucks. Six bucks. Give us six bucks. Or or get the champion edition. Or or get season one or or get season two like just look at that compared to street fire 4 where if you just bought the game you would get all the characters all the content all the stuff everything that game had to offer no extra charge no extra charge none battlefield lacking features scoreboard a first person shooter missing a scoreboard and then recently they take off the one game mode that everyone enjoys and basically just say deal with it they took off a game mode they took off a game mode they took off a game mode make that make sense make that make sense make it make sense they took off a game mode why 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 i literally cannot think of a reason why 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 it doesn't make any sense just leave the game mode on there if the same thing happened when i was playing call of duty mom warfare the first remaster that they made not the first one like the most the most um well played the one with warzone I played that one's multiplayer, not the Warzone. That one's multiplayer. 
there was a there was a um dang i forgot what map it was i don't know if it was shipment or something else but it was basically a 24 7 map and i remember loving loving that map that made me enjoy it because i like the running gun play of call of duty i remember loving that map and i logged on one day it was gone it was gone that whole game mode that 24 7 shootout shoot house shoot house 24 7 shoot house was gone for for what for what it, it, it's things like this and they they constantly disrespect the the people that are paying for these games that there's already be these game modes in the game these game modes should be be staples be staples they should be stuck in the game if you don't like the game mode don't play it it's really that simple and i i it is getting to the point where it, it's like there's no point in buying games now yeah sure there, there's good games that come out but it's like finding a needle in a haystack it feels like all these triple a titles are shovelware and it's sad the other day i was playing budokai 3 and i just thought about how complete that game felt playing burst limit even with that game stopping midway through development and coming out the way it did they never they never and that's one of the games that dlc would be accepted for they never released dlc for it burst limit one of the best dbz fighters i have played aside from fighter z it is absolutely crazy to me how how people keep putting their money into these games putting their money into these egregious practices putting their money into these slot machines putting their money into companies that are spitting in your face and saying oh well it could be worse at least it's not like anthem really that's how low the bar is for you at least it's not like anthem wow and guys i'm gonna end the video with this it is your money i'm not telling you how to spend your money however if you're going to be buying these games paying them to disrespect you there is no place for you to complain about the state of where gaming is right now the reason why these companies are even pushing nfts as hard as they can as hard as they are is because they know even with the amount of pushback they're getting people are still going to pay for it people are still going to pay for it and no matter what if you really want to see a change it, it it all starts with you don't buy these games if you really want to see a change don't support these games don't pre-order games that you literally have not played yet don't pre-order these games that are just showing gameplay trying to feed on your emotions to get money out of it. don't keep pre-ordering these games that are showing you exactly what they want from you and then being surprised when it's exactly what everybody was saying before back for blood i, I I'm, I'm really like I, i'm just it, it's depressing it, it, it honestly is depressing gaming is supposed to be escape from real life from from the the struggles of real life from the struggles of having to earn money to make ends meet and they, and they put it more and more in the games in your face because people keep paying for it we have to do better we have to do better with the end of this video I'm, I'm going to be playing games that I feel as if are worth your time on my channel that is the main thing I want to do I, I, I really do not want to play games just because of the hype backing them because i mean look at look at the way battlefield turned out I, I mean come on now like that that is the best example look at the way battlefield turned out me as a sonic fan look at the way sonic forces turned out sonic colors when it first released like it's i will I'll, i'm going to be playing games that are solid and that respect you your money and your time because i want you guys to understand why these games are so great and the difference between then and now this is esoteric flat
and I'm out.